Within this lesson, we'll use basic facts to approximate quotients with two-digit divisors. Here's our first problem. Which number should we round first? The whole or divisor? Right, we round the divisor first so we know what our unit is. This will help us to know what multiples to look for when we're rounding the whole. 23 rounded to the nearest 10 is, right, 20. Let's round 8,095 so it is easy to divide by 20. How do we do that? I know that 8 could be easily divisible by 2, so I could round 8,095 to 8,000. And then we can solve that. We can divide by 10 first. And then we would divide by 2. Eight hundred divided by two is four hundred. So our estimated quotient is four hundred. Here's our next problem. Let's round the divisor forty-eight to the nearest ten. What do we get? Right, fifty. Let's round 2,691 so it is easy to divide by 50. Remember, you can think of multiples of 5 to help you. I guess I have an easy fact that 5 times 5 equals 25. You could round it either 2,500 or 3,000. Let's go to 2,500. Now how do I solve 2,500 divided by 50? That's the same as 2,500 divided by 10, which equals 250. And then since 10 times 5 is 50, I now take that 250 and divide it by 5, which equals 50. Because 50 times 5 is 250. So my estimated quotient is 50. As stated before, we could have gone to 3,000. And if we chose 3,000 and we divided it by 50, then that would have been 3,000 divided by 10 equals 300. And then 300 divided by 5, which equals 60. So we could have had estimates of 50 or 60. Our actual answer might be between 50 and 60. You try one. 5,484 divided by 71. Give me an estimated quotient. Probably look at 70. And then we would be looking to see an estimated whole that's an easy multiple of 70. Did you choose 5,600? If you did, this would be the work. Divide it by 10 first to be able to get 560. And then I have 560 then divided by 7, which equals 80. So our estimated quotient is 80. Here's another one for you to try. 4,371 divided by 62. What will be your estimated quotient? Did you choose 60? And what's a good number? Divide it by 60. One of them could be 4,200. You also might have chosen 4,800. When you choose that, then you can go ahead and work through that problem. So that's equal to 4,200 divided by 10 divided by 6. 4,200 divided by 10 is 420, and we divide that by 6, we get 70. 
our estimated quotient is 70. Check over your work. Here's another problem. Let's round to the nearest 10. If we round it to the nearest 10, we'd round up to 100. But we're dividing, and we don't always want to round according to place value when we do that. 95 is halfway in between 90 and 100, so maybe either 90 or 100 would work. Let's try 90 and see what happens. If we divide by 90 and we estimate our divisor to 90, then we could say that 9,215 is close to 9,000. So we'll look at 9,000 divided by 90. Those will be good compatible numbers. That's 9,000 divided by 10, which equals 900. And then 900 divided by 9, because 10 times 9 is 90, which equals 100. So our estimated quotient is 100.